up, guys? Matt here, Country Song Teacher. Hope you're doing well. First of all, thank you all so much for all the prayers and, and kind comments. I'm doing so, so much better. So uh, praise the Lord. Hopefully we'll just keep on the right path here and keep on improving. So thank you so much for all the prayer requests, that kind of thing. Uh, I did a thing talking about asking you all what you want me to teach this coming year. And I had a lot of requests for just a few simple tricks to kind of make your playing a little bit better. So that's what I thought I would start out with this video doing is just show you the simple hammer on. You see me do this in every video I do, and to me it helps kind of spice up the guitar playing. And it's not that it's not that difficult, but it's just something I want you to take note of so when you're playing in the future, maybe you can add a little bit. Let's do the three uh, simple chords by locking the two bottom strings. Fifth and sixth is a G, strum all six. For your C or a C add nine, take the top two fingers both down a string to fourth and fifth. Turn the bottom five. And for your D, keep the bottom two locked, press the third string, second fret, and the bottom four. So what I want you to do is whatever string your first finger's playing, by first finger I mean your pointer finger, you're gonna start out playing that chord without your first finger on the guitar. And then as the chord rings out, simply put your first finger down. So it's gonna make two sounds, one, two. So, and what you're gonna do that on all three chords. So, after you do the hammer on, do one more strum and then switch. So, simple hammer on makes such a difference in kind of making your playing a little fancier instead of when I first learned guitar for a number for 10 years I would just just hammer away on the chords whatever but having a little what's called musical discernment where you go slower faster palm mutes hammer ons that kind of thing it's always gonna make the guitar sound a little little more like you know what you're doing so again keep those bottom two locked do this on chords you know you can play simple coughing a lot here the next few weeks while I get over this crazy COVID, but hey, we still rapid fire the lessons. So maybe once you get advanced with that on say your G, C, and D, if you want to do another hammer on, maybe try your A minor. Um, so A minor chord is simply the second string of the first fret, the fourth and third of the second fret, and you jump the bottom five. But on this one, instead of just one finger, hammer on both those strings. So that's the last that's Mary Jane. You're going to A minor. So again, after you hammer on. Hammer on, strum, G, 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 D, D, D. Hammer on, strum. It's called a palm mute or string stop. So, see how I stop that? Then kind of mute. I'll go over that stuff in another video. But on this one, let me know, can you do that hammer on? Whether you've been playing a week, whether you've been playing for 15 years. Can you do those regular hammer ons that I do?
right, guys, I'm gonna go give me a little more rest. Keep doing my things. Thank you so much again for the support. I can feel your all's prayers and thoughts. So many kind messages and comments, man. God bless you all. I hope 2021 is an amazing year for all of us. God does big things in our life. I'm gonna go do a quick piano tutorial for my acoustic selection channel. If you don't know, I've got three channels. This one, acoustic selection, and then my name, Matt McCoy. So three channels, I try to do videos in all three of them. So be, please subscribe. There's links in the, in the description below. Um, make sure you give Smash the video a thumbs up, bloop, a like on this one to help promote it, and let me know in the comment section, can you do this? Guys and guys, have a great day. Love you. God bless you.